My name's Lucy Seeger. I'm the Director of Operations for NISCA CRC. Patients deserve the best care that we can deliver and research provides the evidence on which we make the judgement what is the best care that we can provide. NISCA CRC's role is to provide the practical support on the ground to help clinicians, research teams, clinical teams deliver research in the NHS. NISCA CRC staff work across the whole of the NHS in secondary, primary care and outside the NHS in settings such as care homes. We can provide the whole range of services required in a study from setting a study up, recruiting practices, um, talking to patients and their families about participating in the research to collecting data. My name is Dr Anthony Byrne and I'm a palliative care clinician. I'm also a researcher. If you speak to clinical researchers, the reality of setting up clinical studies nowadays can be very daunting and what you really need on the ground is somebody with experience and skill in guiding you through those processes. From my perspective that's come in the form of, of a dedicated palliative care research nurse but I work with, with research practitioners across the, the clinical research centre. I've got a colleague who's working alongside me who's extremely accessible and highly skilled and very importantly knows exactly what it's like at the clinical coalface in terms of, of setting a study up um, and running a study and most importantly that interface with patients. So when I'm sitting in the clinic alongside my research colleague Mim, um, what I find is that I'm getting on with my clinical practice, I'm very engaged in the research process but neither is suffering. Involving people is a network within the organisation whereby it can link up uh, researchers and research teams with interested members of the public, patients, service users and carers, people who want to get involved in helping develop research ideas. The Involving People Network has over 200 members with a broad range of interests. We provide training for these people and support on an ongoing basis when they're involved in research. In developing my own studies, um, they've been involved from the very beginning, sitting around the table, developing the initial question, making sure that it's absolutely relevant to, to patients and making sure that the way that we conduct the research as it's developed um, is accessible um, so that we don't create a, a process that, that has a very good question and potentially good outcome but is missing the kind of middle reality of, of patients daily lives and, and how research would fit into their daily lives. So that's been invaluable to us in making sure that we develop pragmatic research studies. NISCA CRC provides a national training programme. The training programme has courses covering core research skills, good communication skills, informed consent and good clinical practice. It's free to eligible researchers who are working on portfolio studies. Training is important to researchers because without formal training it's simply not possible to meet all your requirements and obligations. I've been involved in a, in a research project around pulmonary fibrosis. We identified that the clinical nurse specialist who was very engaged in the study, very engaged in the idea of the question that we're asking, didn't have GCP or good clinical practice training. So because the study was on the NISCA portfolio, we were able to access the NISCA CRC training for that clinician. And she's now GCP trained and working very hard and recruiting very well into this study, but has also gained the confidence in, in undertaking other projects. NISCA CRC, frankly, has made the difference between research happening and not. NISCA CRC can help you whether it's with training or actually conducting your study or communicating about it more broadly. So don't struggle on on your own. There are people out here who are committed to research. My message to the research community in Wales is that together we need to integrate research into everyday clinical care so that research and the benefits that it brings become an expected part of quality care in Wales.